based on what you remember from yesterday. Try to solve this story problem. Tammy wants a fence around her rectangular backyard. The dimensions are seven yards by five yards. How many yards of fencing will she need? So first you want to make sure you understand. So Tammy is making a fence to go all the way around her backyard and her backyard is a rectangle of seven yards by five yards. So here's a picture you might draw to help you solve. And so the big question is, how do I solve this? And I want you to discuss with your teacher or classmates how you think you would solve this. So what is your plan? And after discussing, you should have come up with, you will add. This is not an area problem. I want to talk about this because I want to make sure you're understanding the difference between area and perimeter. Area would be the inside of the, the backyard, so all of the yard. Since the fence goes around the edges, you're going to be adding all the sides together. So you would have 7 plus 7 plus 5 plus 5. which would give you 24 yards. Not squared, because we're not talking about squared yards. It's just the yards all the way around the edge. Okay, let's try another one. Just a reminder, this problem is solving for perimeter, not area. Be careful of that. So Corey is planning to put a pool in his backyard. He wants it to be a rectangle and to be 10 feet by 3 feet. How much space will his pool take up of his backyard? So how do I solve this? So to help myself, I've made a picture. Think now about how what your plan would be your plan should be to multiply. This is an area problem because you want to know how much this inside space, you want to know how much of his backyard is going to be taken up and all of this space that is the pool will take up the space. So now we're going to multiply because that's what our formula says. But let's review why we multiply with this quick video. Here's another rectangle that we can practice um, with for area. We have 10, the dimensions of 10 by 3. Remember, area is always talking about the a flat shape or a two-dimensional shape. So we have two our two dimensions of 10 and 3. So we would have our formula is length times width. And that's where it becomes important to just figure out which is which. So the length, think long, and that's 10 times width is how wide it is, and that's 3 equals 30. We'll say these were inches, sorry. So inches squared. And remember, it's inches squared because when we're talking about it, we're talking about the square inch filling it. So this is an inch square inch. And so what this says is that 30 square inches would fill this space. So 10 across square. Okay. So we have 
10, 10, and 10, which is 30. So the same way that putting in the tiles, got me 30, matches my equation of 10 times 3, which equals 30 inches squared, because I use square inches.